Greetings fellow Wastelanders and welcome to my settlement tour of the Murkwater construction site. This build was done on PS4 using the Game of the Year edition with no building mods. I do however have Creation Club skins installed for armor and weapons. In this playthrough, Murkwater was designated as the railroad's Mercer's safe house, so I built this settlement as a combination railroad slash Minutemen base of operations. Apologies up front for some of the drops in frame rate. This settlement represents three size bars worth of building, so it gets pretty taxing on memory. As we begin our tour, we take a look at the Soul Survivor's workshop. All my builds feature some version of a home away from sanctuary for my Soul Survivor. When you arrive at Murkwater, the settlement workbench is inside an unfinished house. Using methods learned from the insane Checklador, I was able to put walls up and add a roof onto this house frame. I then added additional prefabs to the exterior to extend out the structure a bit and give it an irregular shape that I like using in my more scrappy builds. Inside, we have tools, a power armor workstation, a weapons workbench, and of course, the actual settlement workbench itself. The Mirelurk Queen Trophy is intended to represent the queen you take down when claiming the settlement. Murkwater has a swampy area in the middle, and I made it a point to build on top of this area. This corridor leads to both the fishing area and other areas of the settlement that we will get to shortly. And here, we get a glimpse of the construction vehicle that comes with the settlement, which cannot be scrapped. This outside workshop is meant to be an extension of the Soul Survivor's workshop, giving room for settlers to fix their power armor and, you know, weld some scrap or things like that. But it also gives me a chance to preserve some of the decoration items that came with the settlement. You'll notice a board and a cinder block up against the settlement workbench. Those came with the settlement and I didn't want to lose them, so I maintained them since you can't build them without mods. When you arrive at Mercer Safe House, a railroad agent called the caretaker is already there waiting for you. He stays at the settlement, but does not act like a regular settler. You cannot equip him with weaponry or assign him to any tasks. He does, however, hang around a specific area towards the front of the settlement, so I built this shack for him to live in. Here, he can also communicate with the railroad using the equipment inside. He also performs actions associated with items nearby such as sitting in chairs and having a drink, or cooking at the cooking station. This adds a bit of life to the settlement, and it gives him something to do other than just walking around aimlessly.
The restaurant bar is a mainstay of all my settlements, and Murkwater is no different. To that end, we have the Grub and Chug, a place for settlers to hang out, grab a drink, enjoy some music, and get some eats. Out here, we have a small outdoor dining area, along with a smoking area. The candles inside the ashtray is a wonderful piece I learned early on in my building days from the schooled zone. Inside, we have a large bar as well as a Vault 88 soda station to add happiness and some hilarious dialogue to the settlement. The bar restaurant also has a guard station inside. At first, the idea was to have a guard overlooking some of the swampy area where people might invade, but it seems a little odd, but I like to think the settlers like to feel safe while dining, and the guard can also sort of double as a bouncer. Upstairs, we have the living quarters for the restaurant owner and other settlers. You'll see bunk beds, which are two regular beds pillar glitched together, yes. and the couch has a sleeping bag glitched into it. There's not a ton of real estate here at Murkwater, so I did little tricks like that so that I could maximize the number of beds at the settlement while still having a nice looking living area for the settlers. Don't care much. You now see how the bar restaurant connects to the Soul Survivors workshop via this ramp. This then leads to shack bridges and wood floor pieces that I use the campfire glitch to connect together, forming a walking path to the clothing shop. Clothing shops are another mainstay at my settlements, since they provide happiness. I imagine some wastelanders just need new clothing as their old clothes tear and get shredded by daily life in the commonwealth, while others just need something that protects them better than what they currently have. The Fashion Depot is a good sized shop by wasteland standards, and offers up a variety of clothing items, including even vault suits and some armor pieces. This was also the perfect place to put the armor workstation.
Upstairs is where the shop owner lives. She's done well for herself, so she has a lot of luxuries, like her own toilet, a bathtub, her own kitchen, and a nice bed to sleep in. Following the path outside, we see the maintenance worker shack. Here is where the maintenance person who keeps things together at the settlement works out of and stores his tools. And of course, there's a sleeping bag there in case he needs to take a nap. From here, we are led to the waiting area for the clinic downstairs. This view also gives us a look at the corpse of the Myrler Queen that I had to fight in order to gain this settlement. I have heard and read online that this queen respawns, but several months into building this settlement, and the corpse has never vanished, and she has never respawned. This fishing area is also a waterside food stand. I glitched a grill into the shop to make it look like the vendor is cooking food for customers street food style. The clinic has a large clinic inside of it and a Foraptor for additional happiness points. There are also a couple of beds for patients. Those who stay here also get a view of the Myrler Queen's remains.
Upstairs, we have the doctor's home. While the doctor does take care of the settlers well from a medical perspective, uh, the doctor has some funny ideas, uh, believing a little bit in the children of Adam, also being a little paranoid, hence the choice of decorations. Truly, I just wanted to use some of the decorations here that I don't always use, and that includes the posters that are up by the bed. Murkwater comes with a house that is largely destroyed. It's missing walls and a roof, so I decided to turn it into the area where settlers plant their crops, as well as a guard station. Unfortunately, while recording this video, I dashed by it way too quickly, but there are crops both inside and outside of the structure. Keeping in mind that Murkwater is the Mercer safe house for the railroad, I wanted to design a structure that embodied some of the principles of the railroad, subterfuge and saving synths. To that end, I built the Murkwater Nuka Cave. Inside, the Nuka Cade looks like a fun place for settlers to hang out and for visitors to spend their caps and unwind. I made liberal use of the Nuka World DLC assets here, and as you can see, this would be a pretty fun place for wastelanders to hang out. Now, sadly, the vendor here does not actually sell anything or act as a trader. Uh, the vendor only gives standard settler dialogue if you speak to her. I suspect this is due to the position of the structure in the settlement, which is right at the edge of the build border and partly on a swampy section. Easy living, this ain't. Now, downstairs, we see the true purpose of the structure, hiding synths. Here, we see a hideout area for synths to stay while they're being moved in or out of the Commonwealth. I littered this area with random stuff, including even a crib, which I've never used in a settlement before, and a baseball statue. The idea was for it to look like a basement full of old clutter. However, there are beds for synths to rest and restroom facilities for anyone hiding here to clean up. And of course, this gave me a chance to throw a random weight bench in to add some happiness to the settlement.
Got work to do. Can't talk. I don't know how much more I got of this. To add to the cover of Nuka Cade, we have the traveling caravan area. The idea is that the presence of the traveling vendors here distracts even further from the actual purpose of the building they are set right up against. I like making the traveling caravan Don't area its problem. own section of my settlements. I like to equip them with workstations, holes, cooking stations, seats, and beds no for the vendors problem. and their guards to interact with. Uh, it gives them something more to do than just sitting on the floor or just saying their snarky lines, and it adds some extra life to the settlement. The general trader structure is probably the only one I would redo if I were to scrap any part of the settlement. I like the structure overall with its mixed materials and the way the shop is glitched into the metal entrance wall. Unfortunately, the weeds that stick up out of the ground are way too intrusive in the interior for my taste. In retrospect, I really should have elevated the entire structure off the ground, either using shack foundations or scaffolding, and that way I could have avoided that and made a tidier shop and a tidier home for that trader.
And this concludes our tour of Murkwater Construction Site. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed this tour, please hit the like button below, and all kind comments are deeply appreciated. Stay safe in the Commonwealth, Wastelanders. This is Ben Yi, signing off.